Keep your eyes to the sky late Thursday night into Friday as we are awaiting a total lunar eclipse. It should be incredible here for the Denver area and potentially off to the eastern plains too with some really nice visibility. Now this happens when we get the Earth in between the sun and a full moon. And right now it looks like totality is going to be a little over an hour. So you're going to have plenty of time to soak in the beauty of this. And get this, the moon is going to have that reddish glow because of the way it's situated and that sun reflecting on the earth. Now it starts just a hair before 1230 in the morning. I know maybe set the alarm clocks. It will end by about 130 or so totality anyway, but it does span for quite some time. So maybe you don't want to stay up in the middle of the night. It will begin just a bit before 10 o'clock. It looks to make entrance into the umbra. That's going to be the darkest uh, part of the Earth's shadow right there about 1230. But the peak is going to be right around 1 a.m. 130 is when it finally starts to move out and then the eclipse completely ends by about four o'clock on Friday morning. So what in the world will the weather be? How will Mother Nature help us out if we want to see this? I'm starting the future cast about nine o'clock on Thursday when the eclipse is just beginning. If you're joining us from southwestern Colorado, unfortunately not going to be a good vantage point for you as we're watching the storm coming in and folks out there are going to have to deal with some snow. If you're here in Denver, not bad. We will have a few more clouds just off to the eastern side of the metro area and off across the northeastern plains. As we go throughout the evening, we'll still be watching the eclipse. But like I said, 1225, 1226 specifically is when it enters into totality. That's when we're going to see that orange glow out there. Uh, just terrible viewing conditions down there in the San Juans, even Grand Junction looking at rain and snowfall overnight around the I-25 corridor. You're still going to be good to go, but you might have to dodge some clouds developing off to the eastern plains and maybe even a few isolated rain showers. 1 a.m. That is when it's going to be at its peak. Not too bad in southeastern Colorado as far as viewing goes. Mostly clear skies. Not too bad here in Denver. And again, by about 1.30, once we start to see it move out of totality, we should have a really good vantage point. By 4 a.m., that's when the total eclipse ends here in in Colorado, but up through much of the high country, they're going to sa be saying eclipse. What eclipse? We've been dealing with snowfall all night, so hopefully you can make your way to the I-25 corridor, maybe southeastern Colorado, where you will have the best viewing of the total lunar eclipse happening on Thursday night into very early Friday morning. We won't see another one like this until early March of 2026. So get outside and enjoy the beauty that comes with our beautiful planet.